I suppose I'll play. I'll pull it. Pull it. <laughs> what are you looking at me for that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, you. Hi, I'm Valley Salas. And I'm Joe Craig. And we want to talk to you a bit about The Scream Street Books by Tommy Dumberband. I've just about? read Attack of the Trolls. Excellent. I read number six, which is Claw of the Werewolf. I've read a few of the others as well. Nice. They're brilliant. They're they funny. They are fantastic. They've got books. horror characters in, so it's exciting and full of tension and pace, mm. but also funny. And if you can hear a growling, it's our werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> who's operating there is the a camera. werewolf in the room. Uh, who's operating the camera. Uh, for the first six, the characters need to find six artefacts, things like the tooth of a vampire and the claw of a werewolf, and if, if Luke manages to find these six artefacts, <laughs> then he will open up a gateway from Scream Street back to his normal you, life. You, you, you. Because his normal life is where he was when he discovered he was a werewolf, and he was taken away by Ghoul, the government, I can't remember what it stands for, but it's the people that rehouse uh, horror characters, werewolves and vampires and supernatural because, beings. Because Scream Street is no ordinary street. On yes. this street are where all the ghouls live. So we have, it's got, a, you probably can't see, but it's got a, um, a number of fantastic characters, werewolves, zombies, vampires and the like, all live on Scream Street. And then there are the normals who live in an ordinary world, our yes. world. But when people, when they discover that a normal is a werewolf or a vampire, then the, the, the government housing of unusual life forms come along, ghoul, and they move the people to Scream Street. But Luke didn't, well, he, he's happy in Scream Street because he's got friends who are vampires, but his parents, who are normal, are not that happy. So he wants to get everyone home, and in order to do that, he needs these six artefacts. And each of the first six books is them chasing after one of the six artefacts. It's a brilliant formula. Mm -hmm. And actually, this one was particularly good, Claw of the Werewolf, because you think things are going one way, and you think they're going to fight. Harpo. That's the, the, the werewolf, werewolf thing is happening yeah. again. You think that things are going one way, and they're going to track down the Claw of the Werewolf, and everything will be okay. And then things take a really interesting twist in the story, which I won't tell you about, but it's mm. really brilliantly written and very well devised. I thought the plotting was great. So, what happens later is, well, obviously Luke thinks his parents are normal, and maybe they are normal, I couldn't possibly comment. However, <laughs> um, late, the artefacts having been collected burst forth a hole, a gateway f between the world of the normal people and Scream Street. And uh, people come to gawp at the strange and devilish creatures that live on St Scream Street. And that actually isn't very fun. And the only way to shut the gateway is to give all of those artefacts back. Ah, oh, genius. Ah, and there we have the formula for the next six, six books. Genius, that's brilliant. So I really recommend you read them. They're fun. Uh, even if you're not a kid, just give them a read because they're really entertaining. Mm -hmm. And there's some brilliant gags in there. And the, the pace of the story is so zippy, isn't is amazing. It? Yeah. yeah, and there's a lot of humour as well. They're very, very funny stories. <laughs> shall we be forced to eat heather and nest and dung the medicine man exclaimed tonight we dine on human flesh beautifully read i may say may i say i say may you may say I whatever say, you like. i say may i say <laughs> may uh, so check out the scream street books by tommy dumberband <laughs>